I'm Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in this video, we will be seeing how to config uh, cloud functions with uh, HTTP trigger. So in previous video, I have explained you what is cloud function, when to use cloud function and I have shown you lab on how to config uh, cloud functions with GCS storage trigger as well as PubSub trigger. So in this video, we will be using HTTP trigger. So uh, without any further delay, we will get started with actual video, actual content. So uh, I have, as I explained previously, you know, like just open your cloud functions. I have already triggered, the, I have already created this uh, function with HTTP trigger and this is my function. So I will show you how to create the function and how to config HTTP trigger with this cloud function. To do it, just click on environment, like uh, go with environment first gen and function name, I, I give it as HTTPS trigger, but uh, then region is your central one. Trigger type is HTTP and uh, allow unauthenticated invocations as well and require SEO. If you want, you can check uncheck this also. So just save it and rest everything, let it be seen. So run time, like instead of 256, go with 128 and timeout, you can go with 600 as well. Uh, there is a timeout must be an integer between 1 and 514. Like as I explained in my first video on cloud functions, in first generation, uh, we will be like, there is a time bound limit from 1 minute to maximum 9 minute, that is 540 seconds. So we will go with 60 seconds itself and the runtime service account is app engine service account and uh, minimum and maximum number of instances will be 0 to 30. Uh, build, uh, selected environment, you can select environment from here and you can pass variables also, runtime variables as well as build time variables as well. And connections, hello all traffic and VPC connector, let everything be same. So go to next function and in this runtime just check on python 3.7 and this is the same inline um, editor which is provided by google cloud itself. In this hello world we can add custom message like this is google cloud platform. This is google cloud platform or you can have uh, whatever, uh, uh, whatever the message is and requirement.tx if you wanted to add some packages version in 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 enterprise level we will, it will be not this simple or straightforward like it will we have to add some uh, custom messages we have to invoke some runtime variables as well all those things and then deploy on it so when you are doing it uh, when you clicked on uh, uh, deploy it you will get this error when you are triggering it for the first time you will get this error so your client does not have the permission to get url in python so the solution for this error is you have to add cloud function invoker role to all users or to all authenticated users. Basically, you have to do this from your, uh, um, you have to do this from uh, IAM permissions. If you see here, in this permissions, you have to do this. Like I have already done this for this function. Like if you see all users, I'll cancel it, all users and cloud functions invoker. If this is not added, then obviously you will get this error. Your client does not have permission to get URL. So make sure uh, add this in the permission tab and then go to source, oh, sorry, like, go to trigger and just click on this trigger function. Like you will see, hello world, this is Google Cloud Platform. The same way you can find this in logs as well. So if you see the execution has started, and uh, it got authorized as well. So where can I find that? So function executed took 987 milliseconds and function, function execution started as well. So I'm going um, again refreshing it once. So yes, like finished with status code and like function executed took like yes. I uh, like I am policy and update function all those things. Like currently I have used two versions. Sir, the second version is the current active one because in my first version I got that error. So after that I added the cloud function uh, cloud function invoker role and then I deployed redeployed it again so version 2 is my active and this function execution took 14 milliseconds finished with status code as well so like function got triggered as well when https got uh, uh, 
uh, when the HTTP trigger got triggered, right? HTTP got triggered, I function got triggered as well. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new from this video as well. Uh, I know this is very basic. Uh, going forward, I'll try to add some custom messages and I'll try to create some, uh, um, I, like I'll try to build some use cases out of it as well, real time use cases. So uh, stay tuned for those things. Uh, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics. If you have any questions or any doubts, please post in the comment section. And uh, if you wanted to connect with me, I have given my LinkedIn URL as well. Please uh, try to connect with me. Like if you have any questions or doubts, try to connect and I'll be happy to help you as well. So that's it for this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next video with more interesting content with new, more interesting materials as well from Google Cloud Platform. Uh, until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.